Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm interviewing Eric Ang, the founder and CEO of Admission Site. Today, we're speaking about how to write a college essay. Eric, thanks so much for joining. Thanks for having me, Jackson, and happy holidays. So to start off, how important are essays in the college admissions process? Can they make or break a candidate? You know, essays are really important. I've always said an applicant is really the raw profile on paper, and they really come to life through the essays. Before the essays, your grades, your test scores, your extracurricular activities, really just paint you as another applicant, another statistic. But all that comes to life when the admissions committee finally gets to read the applicant's essay and really understand the voice, the personality, the personal qualities, and who this applicant really is, almost like an admissions interview. And so I've always said a strong essay could get a weak applicant in. A weak essay could also keep a strong student out. And so the essays are really important. And probably I'd say, I'd even go as far to say probably the most important process in this admissions ballgame. Great, so students typically have a few essay prompts to choose from. So do you have any tips to help students decide which prompt is best for them? Yeah, there's a lot of different prompts, especially for the main comment app essay where you have a lot of options to choose from. I would say pick the prompt where you get to bring out the best of your profile, as opposed to trying really hard to answer a specific prompt, which may not give you an edge of getting in. For example, the Common App essay has a prompt that says recount a failure that you encountered and the lessons that you drew from it. And so when you talk about a failure, you also don't want to paint yourself in a negative light that would hurt your chances in the admissions process. And so I would say pick a prompt where you get to bring out the best of your profile. And these prompts are open-ended. Even in the main Common App essay, there is a last prompt that says pick a topic of your choice. And so it is open-ended enough where you could bring out the best in your profile that could really help you stand out among the pool of applicants out there. Great. So each year there are millions of students that submit essays. So do you have any tips to help these students come up with creative ideas that could separate them from the pack? Yeah, I think a creative essay really starts with your personal story. What are the personal stories that affected you in your life? What are the personal moments that you could bring out that's unique from all the other applicants out there? And so I would really make a list of you know, your academic interests, your extracurricular interests, what you do outside of school, your favorite movies, your favorite TV shows, because those are the things that make an applicant unique. And when you can bring those out, then you can really craft together a compelling story that's going to be different from all the other applicants out there. So I would really think deeply about who you are, your values that define you, what your personality is, are you a quirky person, are you more shy, and really use those elements to craft together a narrative and help yourself shine through in the application. Great, so it's always a good idea for students to outline their essays before getting started with the writing process. So is there a specific essay structure that you would recommend? Yeah, I wouldn't say there is a particular structure. I think keeping up your voice is really important when it comes to the essay. Certainly, you know, there's those time-tested methods where you want to hook the reader into the essay in the beginning. But we've also had students start off the essay with very simple sentences. Like, I'm a bookworm. I live and breathe sentences. And so things like that, it captures a reader in a way that is different from all the other applicants out there. But I wouldn't say there's a rigid structure that you have to follow. It's more important to allow your voice to shine through as if you're talking to a normal person. But the difficulty is really putting that on paper in a language and dialogue that could really allow your voice to shine through. Great, so each student's writing is going to be unique, but do you have any specific tips that could help students throughout the writing process? Yeah, so usually when we work with our students, we have them fill out a questionnaire. 
and we ask them very challenging questions. For example, we ask them a question like, what is something that you believe that very few people would agree with you on? And so, you know, when you ask these questions, we're able to tease out all these nuances in an applicant and their belief systems or values that define them. And so I think the trick here is really to be thoughtful. There isn't a black and white science that says, hey, you have to write the essay this way, but you really want to be thoughtful, introspective, and really capture the values and lessons that you learned as well as your shift in your perspective. That's ultimately what they want to see. And so it's part art, part science, but at the end of the day, if you could be thoughtful and introspective in your essays, that's going to be a winner. Great, so are there any things that students should try to avoid when they're writing their application essays? Yeah, I do think there are some topics that you should avoid. For example, politics, religion, especially how divisive our country is right now with the whole political movement. You really want to stray away from those types of topics. I've also seen students try to be overly creative in their essays. For example, there was one student who reached out to us for help on his transfer application He was a really, really strong student, but he still got rejected from many of the top universities, all of them, in fact, because he tried to be overly creative. He actually wrote his main essay about boxing, which is funny because he's never done boxing. It's not reflected in his profile, but he thought he could be unique that way. And so you want to be unique and creative, but not overly so. And you want to make sure it's reflected in your extracurricular activities and your academic passions and of course, allowing your voice to shine through. Great, so once students finish their drafts, what should they do next? Do you have any tips to help students with the editing process or advice on who they should reach out to to read over their essays? Yeah, I would say seek professional help. We've worked with a lot of students. We do have a lot of experience in this arena. You could ask family and friends as well. I do think that's helpful to a certain extent. But when you ask 10 different people, you're going to get 10 different opinions. And 10 different opinions may not help your chances. Some may be valid and some may not. I think a common opinion we get is, oh, how do I highlight my accomplishments in my essays? And the essay is really not your place to highlight all your accomplishments. They see that in the application. They see that in the extracurricular activities section and the honors and awards sections. The essay is really for you to be introspective. And so I would be wary about who you're asking to help on your essays. I think getting feedback is fine, but I would always recommend if you're really stuck to seek professional help. Great. Well, thanks, Eric, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Jackson. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more interviews like it, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.